Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, we have started working on implementing inter-site connectivity and this is for AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Lab Series that are available on the GitHub. And since these labs are pretty, pretty long, uh, we have created one video previously for provisioning the lab environment. In this video, if we have time, we'll try to combine both of them because they kind of make sense configure the local and global virtual peering and then test the interset connectivity so until you test you know this configuration doesn't make too much sense so you know until it gets too long i will try to combine these two videos but for most of the videos in this series i'm trying to create one video for one task because for the most cases the tasks are kind of self-containing and pretty long by itself so we already have the environment, so let's get to task two to start configuring the local and global virtual network peering. <clears throat> so what we need to do, we need to go to the Azure portal and search for the virtual network. So let's go to our virtual uh, Azure instance. And from here, just search for the virtual networks. And, and I never use the classic one always stick to the virtual network the regular one without any any suffix and in this one review the virtual networks you created in the previous task and verify the first two are located in the same Azure region and the third one in a different Azure region so we have already done that so first two we created in the East US and the third one we created in the West US is just to show you that peering is available in the same region or it's it can also be available globally <clears throat> that's what is my guess why they have done it this way now in the list of virtual mesh network click az10405 vnf01 so let's go to the first network so we created on that one and from here we can uh, set up the peering so let's go to the settings and then peering so we are in this particular network right now so under setting tab you should have a peering right here so you click on that one there's no peering defined so we're going to click on add to start our peering and then name of the peering so the first name is from zero network to the one network so that is the name of the peering and then a virtual network deployment model is resource manager which is fine and then subscription id is whatever you have virtual network is vnet1 is what I'm gonna choose so vnet where is vnet1 this is the network that is a name of the peering from from the other side is usually this is a convention so if you are if this name that you're saying from vnet0 to vnet1 you also need a backward so here you would you would say vnet1 to vnet0 okay so this configuration is almost done um, enable enabled so enable enabled for allow virtual network to access allow virtual network to access so both two options are uh, enabled then other two option forwarded traffic forward traffic there's a disable there's a disable allow gateway transit uncheck box so yeah i don't need that one at this time so i'm just gonna click ok so that would set up the virtual network peering between this vnet0 and vnet1 okay uh, this step in establishes two local peerings from vnet0 and vnet1 and vnet1 to vnet0 uh, so on vnet0 we're gonna do uh, the add button one more time so we still need to s we haven't set up the uh, peering with this one so let's do that one so if i click on that one this time we're going to do from zero to two so i have zero to two in here uh well then this time i'm going to choose the two networks so virtual network uh two and it, it's already saying cannot be peered with this two because they're already peered so this is the only one that is available so i'm choosing that one and the name with the uh, with the uh, with the tradition uh, we are now doing 221 in the first one here we said 0 to 2 and here 220 okay the backwards 
again I'm keeping this to enable and the other to disable and this box is unchecked so I'm good with this so that peering is now uh, in the in progress and now it's saying navigate back to the virtual network blade and list the virtual network click the one network so what we have now done uh, 0 to 1 0 to 2 we still have to do 1 to 2 so now we got to do here in the one network under peering let's go to peering so peering is there there is only one one two zero so i think we need to create a, a one to two so let's uh, do add and then this is going to be my name and two this is only one f level and with naming convention we are going to do that and everything else is good so I hit OK and everything is good so now what we have done we have peered 0 to 1 first that also created a backward compatibility 1 to 0 then I create a 0 to 2 that also created a backward peering from 2 to 1 then we went back to 1 network and did 1 to 2 that also created a backward networking between 2 to 1 and everything else is now good so now let's do the test inter-site connectivity uh, make sure that it's everything is working so in the Azure portal search and select the virtual machine in the list of virtual machine uh, click for AZ10405 VM0 so what we can do you can also search it here most likely yeah that's zero that machine is gonna come up and uh, on blade click on connect so it's gonna asking me to get the RDP file so if you connect to this one uh, it's gonna give you the RDP file and uh, you can download the file save it and open if you're using a Windows since I'm using a, I'm using a, a Linux machine with me I just need to copy this IP I have a Remnia client or Remina Remina client RDP client that I use in a Ubuntu machine and I'm just gonna click connect and here I'm gonna use our student username and our default password to log into this machine so this is the VM0 when I'm logging in right now and there we go so we are logging in so let's go to the lab and see what else it's asking uh, RDP all of the prompt is sign in to students so we have we are done up to this point within the remote desktop session right click and start button and uh, open the PowerShell so let's see where are we so here we are so it's still logging in uh, just give it one second okay it's coming up uh, let's uh, click on search or so it's a little slow but it should come up partial so I'm gonna open up the parcel window so I'm in the machine and in the parcel console window run the following to test connectivity to VM1 which is a private IP address of this so test net connection then computer name test net connection computer name is the other computer name and through this port and uh, we're gonna run this command and see what happens. Test net connection is attempting to TCP connect, and now you're waiting for the response, and this is what you have. So is it test succeeded? Yes. That's a pretty cool command actually. I'm gonna keep it in my let me save this one to desktop and I'll just say cool. <laughs> I'll just say cool. Um test connection as your uh -uh, what happened is it your dot txt I have not seen this before I have been using SSH or uh, ping enabling ping a lot of different things to show the connection but this is really cool I have not seen this before so I just took a note of it so let's go back to the lab uh, note that the test uses 3389 since this is the port that is allowed by default 
examining the output of the command and verify the connection was successful so if i examine the connection it's saying that connection is successful so that we know that i have connection between the two subnets and in the parcel same window now we're going to connect and verify that it can also connect to the vm which is located in a completely different region uh oh it's picking up this i don't want that so let's go back and copy it again let's see yeah so now i'm doing i'm testing so this is going to the other vm and i have i can see the test connection is successful as well so we have verified both of them now switch back to the azure portal and navigate to the virtual machine blade in the list of virtual machine blade so they're telling us to go to vm1 and log into vm1 so we're going to do the same thing with vm1 so let's uh, copy this uh, go to our azure portal what i'll do i'll try to figure out the ip of that machine as well so let's see here is my IP. Let's copy that one in my Remnia client. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need that anymore. Uh, instead of this IP, I'm going to do the other IP, which is BM1. And I'm going to use student. And I'm going to use my very secret password. And I'm going to log in. And while it's logging in, we're going to look at the lab. Uh, so 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 in this uh, we want to verify that uh, this is available okay so it's now going in it's logging in so we have verified a connection from machine one machine zero to machine one and machine two now we are verifying the connection from machine one to two okay that makes sense so here let's do or shell and uh, slow slow uh oh that's not what they wanted so power shell this is the one i want and paste and so this is going to check the connection to uh, from this machine to uh, vm2 which is present in a completely different region and this is still successful so that makes me happy and uh, that's about it so in this lab what we have done so far we have uh, in the previous lab we created the lab environment we provisioned uh, two different virtual network in one region east us and one in a completely different region west us and in this lab we have configured the peering between all three virtual networks and then we perform the network connectivity between those machines and everything is working perfectly so far for us so the last thing is uh, to remove all the resources if you want to uh, you can get all the resources that you have created using by running this particular command uh, you can go to the cloud shell and it will open up and we have been doing this for a while now so you guys should be should know what to do and then you basically you pass the remove as a resource group and force as job and to this command you're basically passing all the resource group names that were created as part of this lab i'm going to keep this lab in home and for just a little bit so i'm not going to run this command and i'm just going to keep this uh, resource group for just a little bit if i if i if i if, if i can if i need to delete it and if I need sometimes if you have too many resources you reach the uh, quota at that time I'm going to delete this resources but uh, for this lab this is the end of it if you like it please uh, thumbs up give me a, a like subscribe and share with friends uh, this is an important concept so make sure that you know how to create your virtual network how to peer the network um, not only in the same region but also within different region and also note that if you have a peering uh, even with a different region all of your packet that bypasses going to the public internet completely it uses the Azure backbone to transfer all of your data so it makes your network traffic much more secure
from a security standpoint that is very important to understand. So good luck with the exam and thank you for listening.